welcome to today's workout session where we will be targeting our glutes. If you have any questions concerning these workouts, just drop them below in the comment section and I would love to answer them. So for our first exercise, we have four rounds of 10 to 12 weighted squats. Typically I do a warm up, but I didn't record that part. And as you see in the recording, I obviously didn't do 10 to 12. If these weights are a little too heavy, if you are new to weightlifting, make sure you go with an appropriate weight for you. If this is also your first time trying this particular exercise, just make sure you have a spotter or someone around just in case the bar may be a little too heavy. Next we have elevated hip raises and for this exercise I went ahead and added my resistance bands just to add a little more resistance at the top. We also I believe we did four rounds of 10 to 12 on this exercise as well. a very popular workout donkey kicks which is a very common glute workout and it's pretty self-explanatory you just kick in the air with your heels i use my resistance band for this as well i started off with a light resistance band and then in the next clip you're going to see that i added another one just so i can really feel the burn to fire hydrants i tend to do fire hydrants and donkey kicks right after each other doesn't matter which one comes first i just tend to do them together in my sets so as you can see i started off with a light resistance band and i'm going to move up just to add more resistance you don't have to start off with a resistance band if you are new to the workout journey but if you would like to make sure you start off with light so you're not overworking your muscles my last workout with your hip thrusts i recently added this into my glute workout routine and it is a game changer every time i do it though i have to kind of play around with it just to make sure i find like the target spot that i'm trying to hit if this is your first time doing this workout as well make sure you just start really light and make sure you just find the right positioning to where you feel it in the glutes because it's really easy not to feel it in your glutes with this workout in these clips you weren't able to see it but my glutes are not touching the floor when I do hip thrusts they're barely sweeping it and then I pop right back up driving with my heels and that's the most important part that you're not touching the floor with your glutes and that you are driving with your heels that concludes the end of this workout session thank you all so much for tuning in and stay tuned for more fitness content and don't forget to like comment and subscribe